Okay, I, I didn't put the uh, riser, I mean the uh, leveling feed on before I stood the lathe up, so I'm using the winch again to, to raise it up to uh, install those leveling feet. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'm only 5'7", and I got the feet on this end already, but uh, even without the riser blocks and without the feet on it yet, the center height is right at uh, elbow height for me, so uh, I won't be able to use the riser blocks. <clears throat> so let's use the winch and get this end raised up. And then, what I think I'll slide that hitch stock down here out of the way. Make it lighter to pick up too. Maybe. Time for another another battery. You grab a battery. I believe with the. Uh, leveling feet ran all the way in. I believe the height is going to be just about right for me. But there's probably at least a couple of inches adjustment on these leveling feet. So if I need it a little bit higher, I'll have plenty. Hey guys, well I finally got all of it put together and uh, about to fire it up for the first time. I just finished uh, wiring the uh, the cord up and uh, I used uh, 10-3 cord and uh, or 10-2 with the ground and it was bigger than the connector 
uh, on the side of the the uh, control box back there so I had to do a little adapt in there so that, that took a little while so uh, I know several people are saying that it it doesn't come with the power cord even the company uh, even Powermatic told me that they do not come with power cord so uh, I know one guy's didn't mine did so uh, you may get one you may not but uh, <clears throat> 14 gauge is probably going to be about the biggest size that will fit in that connector uh, that comes factory with it unless you want to do some adapting like I did First time to fire up the Powermatic, the big yellow beauty. Uh, if I know how to do it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, the belt. It comes without the belt tension. So, got the belt tightened up. Turn the breaker on. Let's see what it is. That's all. Because these are basically an industrial machine, uh, they come set up to wire them uh, directly. Uh, they're not really meant to have a, uh, a plug-in. And so it's got a disconnect on the very back of the headstock here. Okay, keep your fingers crossed. Hey, we got red lights. Let's see, that's in forward. Hey. Should check the speed control before I turned it on. Nice. Off. Wish the off button was a little bigger. I'll probably uh, probably wire a secondary emergency stop button that, that'll stay down here toward the tail stock end. But, uh, I believe that was, let's see, is that a nice power button? Alright, pretty quiet. over a thousand, a little under a thousand RPM. Sounds good. Uh, all right, I'm wore out and ready to go inside and rest for a little while. <laughs> I'll come back after a while and play with it some, but I hope the, uh, the unboxing and reveal of whatever has been helpful to you if you're thinking about getting one of these uh, maybe it'll help you out uh, since there's practically no information on YouTube about this new model yet so thanks for watching uh, don't forget to hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribed subscribe and uh, be having some new videos coming out soon, some turning videos with a new lathe. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great evening.